Kai in Chicago. Hey, Brad. How are you? Good. How about you? Good. Uh, long story short, uh, I have a removal order. It's like six, seven years old. So my wife, like recently, uh, four or five months ago, she got her asylum approved. Mm-hmm. So we got married like six, seven years ago. We got kids. So is there any way I can, um, I can, I can get uh, like uh, you have asylum to, status? As well, a you, have, you would have to reopen your removal case. What, what we would have to review your removal case and figure out a way to reopen it. I got a first. Open the case, then file I-730, or I can file right now? File both at the same time. You have to make a motion to reopen and the I-730 simultaneously. What about if I were, can I file I-212 in uh, in U.S.? What? No, because you you would have to go, the I-212 is to go home and then re-enter after a prior order of deportation. And then you have a problem because uh, your wife applied for asylum. Why are you all of a sudden, you're okay to go and she's not? No, we, no, we live in two, we are from two different countries. Ah, okay. The answer is yes, you can do a 212, leave the United States. You may also need an I-60, uh, uh, I-601A because you've been out of status here for more than a year. So you may need two waivers and you can leave and come back. But I think the better route would be to try to make a motion to reopen. Uh, in uh, in the uh, US? Yes, hold on, we can help. Sure. We some in San Diego, California, we some. Hi Brad, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Actually, I have uh, uh, a story I want to tell you and just shortcut, okay? So I've been here and documented for uh, 10 years right. under asylum. Mm-hmm. But in 2017, I closed my case because my mom, she filed for me a petition uh-huh. under category F2B. Uh-huh. And um, uh, um, uh, it's going to come current soon, uh, right. which is like uh, like for the filing date. I just want to make, I want to, I want to, want to make sure if I can go back to my country and do it in my country. No, because, or I no, could because, adjust status no. here. Well, you, you, I don't know if you can adjust your stats here. I'd have to ask you a few questions. But if you go back to your home country, you're looking at a misrepresentation problem based on an asylum case that you said, I'm terrified to go back. And, you know, now you're going back. So you would most likely have to ask a third country, whether Mexico, Canada, or a third country to accept you um, and process you there. That's number one. I don't know that they're going to do that now because of COVID. Uh, whether you're eligible to adjust your status or not depends on whether you're, you're 245i or how or how you entered America. So if you're considered still an arriving alien, you got stopped at the border, or you came here on a visa, mm-hmm. there's all sorts of different ways that you may or may not be eligible to adjust. So hold on one second. I think you would probably need a consultation. We'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.